Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Airtable as database in 2024. So Airtable is much more than just a spreadsheet. It can be used as a powerful database to manage structured data. So in this tutorial, I'll guide you on how to set up fields, maybe as an example, link records, and also organize your data efficiently. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section and all you need to do, just type airtable.com and hit your enter button. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken to this page instead. So let's just wait for the page until it load. As you can see, you'll find yourself here. Here, of course, you can log in uh, by clicking on sign in to sign into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on sign up to for free to create an account. Of course, you can use a Google account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. It's very possible to do it in here. And yeah, so as you can see, you sign in with Google in here. And for creating an account, it's going to be basically the same. For this sign in as an example with a single sign on, what does that mean? It basically means if you want to just come here to our table, uh, as an example, create one spreadsheet, one data base, as an example here. And yeah, you're not going to use this again. So why create an account, right? So you'll be able to do it with the, that one sign in as example option or sign on option, single sign on option, you'll be able to do it. So, but nothing will be saved as example. So if you quit and came back again, you will not find anything. So to find yourself, uh, to keep your things saved, of course, you would like to create an account. So in here, as an example, uh, you will find yourself in this dashboard once you're logged in. What you'll need to do, of course, simply first of all, create a workspace if you don't have a workspace yet. For me, as an example, I have a workspace. So I'll just go and delete the one that I just created. As you can see, for me, I have this workspace in here. So in here, you have four options. You can start from scratch to create something from scratch. You can quickly upload something or import something from another uh, tool, as an example. Uh, you can even import a CSV file, something from Microsoft Excel, Spreadsheet, Box, Dropbox. As you can see, a lot of options here. If you didn't find whatever you want to upload from, you can simply submit a request. If you're a big team, as an example, all of you are submitting the same request. As an example, maybe a lot of people want to add something, so it will be added for sure. So if you didn't find what you want in here, as an example, you can just click on others and select whatever that thing is. If any other general information is here, and make sure to click on submit. So other than that, you can start with a template. So as you can see, they have multiple templates here to choose from. As you can see, you can click here and see to see all the template that they have. So let me just see. As an example, so as you can see, they have templates for project management, for sales CRM, for content calendar, for products roadmap, for as an example, marketing templates like for sales and CRM, recruiting HR, uh, finance and legal. As you can see, you can even load more categories like designing UX templates, IT operations, uh, supply chain. As you can see, endless amount of template that you can choose from you can even look for some database example templates why not it's up to you to find it you can even as an example let me just go scroll down to the bottom of the page i guess yeah you can also connect some data as an example to create a database so just click on connect to the data and yeah i'm already signing for some reason i don't know why it's take, taking me here but anyway i'll just go back in here so in here of course you can also connect your uh, data as an example so other than that, you can even create something or an app using AI. One of the apps that I created using AI in here is this one. So where is it? I guess it's this one, right? Let me just go and check. No, not this one. Let me just go and delete it. It's empty anyway. Yeah, so is this, I guess this management, this is the app. So no, this is just a template. So it's this project's management for sure. So yeah, yeah, this is an app. This is, as you can see, everything in here is created with AI. So with projects, tasks, assignments, team members, as you can see, everything here is created with AI. I did not create a single thing. So how to use it, basically, it's going to be very, very simple. So let me just go back to the dashboard as an example. And here, all you need to do, just click on start with AI and explain whatever you want to create. So, for example, I want to create maybe a database. So, then 
you can change the settings it like puts an organization organization here industry audience it's up to you then click on next and as you can see they are generating now your app all you need to do just sit tight and wait for your app until it gets created should not take a lot of time so next pixel and or an error of course it will i guess happen twice this ai is still on that in beta so it will happen like twice in here so all you need to do just go and do it over so create database and now it should not happen this problem should not happen occur again so ai is still in and as you can see yeah it's creating now the database for me as i said before ai is still uh, this ai tool is still on beta so you might have problem here and there so for example if you see everything here that you want all you need to do is just click on create app if you want to add something like queries reports backups add your own permissions remove something it's up to you to do it and you can preview it and if you like it just go and click on create the app once you do so just wait like 20 seconds or so and your app will be created and once it's created basic basically you can simply now use it for as database and you can go of course and start creating uh, or set up your fields link your records and maybe organize your data so it's up to you to do it as an example here you can click on add records on this field as an example here in tables you can add whatever you want on this table as an example add record as well here you find it just for records for views of course you can delete things that you may want as an example you can uh, also add things so it's totally up to you to do whatever you want with that so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye